Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to day 25 of 31 and 31. And today I have taken quite the U-turn on films and film types. Um, I'm still going to consider this cult because it's a cult of witches, um, but it, it definitely doesn't fit. And I wanted to watch the movie, and why not go ahead and just do uh, a quick review of, well... The Witches, uh, the recently released uh, movie on HBO Max um, with Anne Hathaway, Octavia Spencer, Stanley Tucci, and Chris Rock. Um, Chris Rock provides the voiceover, like the narration of the whole thing. Um, man, uh, it, I, I'm kind of speechless after watching it because it was really good. Um, I'm very surprised, and it, I, I can't believe I'm getting like emotional at the end of this goddamn movie uh because it's really fucking sweet and it's just like the whole experience was just really good and it's as good as the original film if you really like the original film i think you're gonna really love this film as well um there are a couple of things that got changed uh the ending in particular i actually prefer this ending more than the original because it's closer to the book and uh, if you ever listened back to the podcast that I did on The Witches, you would know that uh, they changed the original movie. What happens at the end of the first movie, yeah, it's it's cheesy and it's never been like everybody's favorite, especially if you really enjoyed the books. Um, and it, it just here, it still changed a little bit. It's a little too fluffy. Um, at least with the last like little montage that goes on, but in general, it's still like, it, it just, it hits the right part and it hits the right part, not with the, the cheesy little thing that they do, but it hits a right part between a conversation between our hero and his grandmother. Um, and man, that it just, it hit me right in the fucking feels and like, I'm still like trying to. I don't want to say keep it together, but I'm just still surprised at exactly how emotional it actually made me feel. And, you know, if you don't know the story of the witches, it's basically about a kid that uh, his parents die in a car accident. Um, you know, again, one of these stories where your parents die because uh, that makes better film for people, uh, <laughs> for kids, you know, dealing with loss and everything like that. Um, and you he has to go live with his grandma and his grandma, you know, basically becomes his, his family. And they do a really good job at the beginning of it, not being like super sappy. They spend a little more time than they did in the original film with anything having to do with that. And I really enjoyed like Octavia Spencer and her trying to get him out of the funk. And one of the best lines that she has in the movie is that, do I feel sorry for you? No. Do I feel bad for you? Yes. And that is a great, great lesson. Um, you know, you can, you, you have to kind of push through everything and become the person that you're meant to be and keep being that person that you are on the inside, right? And that that hits a lot and hits very close to home. And, uh, uh, you know, thinking of, of everything with my family and, you know, <laughs> the way my, my grandfather lived, um, it's... It's just a relatable experience, and it 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 gets me, and it's getting me right now. Um, and I was just so damn surprised with everything in the movie. The I, I will say before I get into the praise that I'm going to give the movie, the one thing I don't like, uh, and I wish they had done more of, was practical effects. Um, the the animals, I just they're they're like. They're a little too cartoony for the way they look when they're mice and even the cat and, and everything like that. The one cool one was the snake, um, which I won't say what it is, but when you see it, it's actually kind of cool. Um, but it's not like a big focus of the scene and the the whole uh, experience with the film. It's just there. Uh, but the, like the cat and the, and the way the mice are, and the mice are kind of the big front thing, and sometimes... It doesn't blend well with whatever scene and scenery they're doing, and there's some and like of the animation with uh, Anne Hathaway's uh, you know head witch character that 
could be better, I feel, at times. Um, but overall, it's it's still, you know, it, with her character, it's pretty good. I, I really, really love the design of everything. Um, her feet, uh, this is funny to say, her feet are fantastic. Like, her reveal as being the witch is so good. It's, it, it just, like, I had a grin on my face from fucking ear to ear. Um, I guess I'm a witch now. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, it, it was just, it, I, she did such an excellent job. Like Angelica Houston is so fucking good in the first movie, like hands down, like my favorite part of the movie. And what's my favorite part of this movie? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is the best, like one of the best things about this movie. It's so good. Like the transitions that she does from being kind of the bitchy character and being, oh, oh you know, so nice and everything like that. It's great. Octavia Spencer, she's very good. At times, it, it's a little cheesy, the way that she delivers everything, but it's still really good. Um, Stanley Tucci as the head of the, the hotel, he's he's good for what he does. Uh, the performance is pretty good. He gets something that happens to him later on I don't think he deserved. Uh, it's another one of those things to add to my list of things you don't do to somebody's dick. Um, and uh, it's it's just like... It's a real, like, I I kind of hate using the word, but it's a real fucking magical experience. Um, I, I just, I went into this being like, I got to give it a chance. I got to give it a chance because I loved the original movie so much. Like, so, so much. Like, it's a big part of my childhood. And it's a big part of the, you know, everything with my family and, and memories that I have of going to see the movie and, and being with my mom and dad in the theater and, and all of this. And it it's just... It brings all that back, man. It's so it's it does that job so well to me. And I wish, I wish I could have seen this in a movie theater. Like, it's awesome. I finally got to see it. I finally got to go, you know, I've been kind of waiting for this movie, wanted to do this movie for a while, and I got to see it. But I just wish I could have seen it in a theater. You know, that's that's the thing. I the, the magicalness of it, I think, would have been expounded by a ton. And I probably would have broke down balling in the fucking theater when it got to the end of the fucking movie. Because I've still got, like, the tears coming from my eyes, like, when I watched the fucking Mr. Rogers movie. Um, it's it's just, like, what what I really liked about it was that everything felt intact. Nothing felt like it was completely changed. Did they change where it came from? You know, where, where not where it came from, but where it's based? Yes. Okay, it's based in Alabama rather than being based in uh, the UK. Okay, uh, they do things subtly with a couple of things because this is the 60s and 70s that they're they're doing with the, the film, you know. So there are a little bit, you know, of social commentary in there, but it's not pounding you in the fucking face, okay? It's just literally that you're at this prestigious Alabama hotel and, of course, all of the staff, you know, are African-Americans and here they come up to the hotel because it's Octavia Spencer and her grandson and they they happen to be black and there's a lot of little nuanced things that they do with the film but it's not like in your face type stuff it's just an enjoyable romp like the the whole thing the the scene where you get the and the thing is is that like I feel like I can't spoil this movie I'm not going to go into detail about it but like saying that the the scene that you get with all the witches for the first time and like I said the big reveal of everything it's done so like just so fantastically uh it, it, to the fact that like you know if I'd never seen the original I'd be like man her performance is number one Anne Hathaway's is just the best thing and there's she you know I, I don't know if I can watch the original anymore and I, they, they're just so like <sighs> man Angelica Houston was was so good in the role and just how creepy she was and especially you know the the makeup that they used for her was uh made her so creepy and so scary here it's you know i know there's the teeth you see the teeth in the trailer um and but it's just the other parts of her body her feet specifically uh i that surprised me and i was just like oh okay they make use of why she's wearing the pointy shoes um and like I said, everything else is just, it's it's just good. And the ending, while I think I prefer this one, um, it, it still gets in a little bit of the cheese area. 
And the only, the only reason that I think I prefer this one is because it actually does do what the book does. So if you know what the book is, you kind of know what the ending of this movie is going to be like. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think that if you have a chance, if you have HBO Max, please go watch this film. Um, it's a great family film. It's a great witch cult film. Um, that's how I'm going to tie everything in. There are a cult of witches that are trying to turn kids into mice. So that way that there'll be no more kids left in the world. Um, which is weird because then how do you get more witches if you don't have witch kids? They never explain that. Maybe. Okay. They don't explain how witches have more witches and have witch kids. One out of 10. Uh, no. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So like I said, go watch it. Uh, my final score out of, for this one is going to be four out of five, uh, you know, mouse potions. Uh, it's, it's great. If you love the original, please go watch it. Um, and you know, Octavia Spencer, uh, as cheesy as stuff is, she's so endearing and so fantastic. Uh, Anne Hathaway, again, I'm, I will fucking scream her praises. Um, she did so, it was so good. So, so good. I love that character. I loved, uh, even, you know, the hero mice, all three of the mice. It, the only one that I wasn't too sure of was Daisy, um, which I, maybe that ruined somebody you're at the end of this thing. But I didn't think that the voice actor there for that one was the greatest in the world. But I still felt it all endearing. So uh, go out and watch it. We'll see you next time on Halloween's 3131, uh, 31 Nights of Horror. Uh, and I'm going to go get myself a fucking tissue and clean my fucking face. Because I'll probably ball for a bit <laughs> a little more after this is done. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, don't forget to check out the podcast on 31. It was just recently released. And uh, we've got, uh, you know, something special for Halloween. So make sure you check that out. And uh, we'll see you next time.